Okay, we are going to take a look at actual student exam scores after taking the HESI A2 and using our anatomy and physiology ready for the HESI.org study guide. And as you can see here, these are actual results, right? So on the anatomy and physiology part of the exam, they scored an 88. Now, if this is your first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, then you can actually do this. You can log in to your Elsevier account and look at your results. So you can actually go in, click on view results. So we'll do anatomy and physiology. They scored, this student scored an 88%. So if you click on view results, it will take you to a couple of resources, as you can see here. So this student scored an 88%, which is really, really good, because it means this student only missed about three questions. So they got 22 out of 25 correct. The class average was a 77, so they scored, he or she scored 11 points outside above average. So that's pretty good. Now, if you, again, this is if you've already taken the HACI 2 so if this is your second, your third, or fourth time taking it, log in, see what you did, log into your Silver account, and then click on Results Report. And you'll see some cool resources, completely free. And once you click on that View Results right here, Results Report, once you click on there, you'll get Detailed Scoring Report. So this is only for the Anatomy and Physiology section. And then as you can see here, the four questions this student missed was on the thymus, the esophagus, the body membranes, and the respiratory function. So if this person would were to take it again, um, which they probably won't. They already scored an 88, which is pretty high. Um, they can go back and kind of focus on these topics, thymus, esophagus, body membranes, respiratory function. Um, so they can kind of know where their weak areas are. So this is completely free. Just log into your Silvia account and it will give you detailed information of the exact questions you missed. So if you do plan on taking it again, uh, you know what exactly subject areas of anatomy and physiology to practice on. Um, and that's just some extra tips for today. Hope that helps. And don't forget to check out readyforthehesi.org.